So that took a, a tad longer than I'd planned upon. I uh, possibly shouldn't have chosen Ubuntu, um, given what we're trying to do in these videos and keep them short. Anyway, they're all down now. Um, it took about it took about three, four minutes. Um, so we can actually look at these images because there are quite a lot of them. So it's brought down many, many different versions of Ubuntu. Um, these are Docker images that we can now run because we've got Docker installed on CentOS on a bare metal server sitting in a data center at uh, Software in Amsterdam. So um, how do we do that? Well, let's uh, use Docker run. Um, I'm going to do a very simple command uh, for the first one. Let's do it on Ubuntu uh, Saucy Salamander and let's just echo out hello world. Hello world, why not? And there we go. So that ran within a, an Ubuntu 13.1 Docker image on CentOS. We can go even further. We can actually uh, go and run a bash terminal whoops, and get into this actual machine. But we have to tell it we're going to work interactively and that it's going to be a terminal. And you see our um, cursor has changed into telling us that we are now on this particular host machine. And we can do an ls, and that's what we'd expect to see. We are actually interacting directly in Ubuntu 13.1, which is an image sitting on CentOS. Um, we can further show this by doing an ifconfig, which I expected. It's not there. So in Ubuntu, we use apt get rather than yum as the package manager and we're going to install I think it's called NetTools and we're going to install that within our actual docker image so now when we do an ifconfig we can see its ethernet address we can doubly prove this by exiting out of our docker image and doing an ifconfig on our actual system here on our bare metal server and we can see bond, yeah, bond one, which is our public, and bond zero, which is our private. So there you go. That's a very quick install of Docker. Now we're going to move to the next phase, which is going to be moving, building a virtual machine on my local Mac here. Uh, sorry, building a virtual machine. I'm so used to working with virtual machines. Building a Docker image on my Mac using VirtualBox um, and then sending that Docker image to our actual bare metal server here and we're going to run that up with a Node.js application in it. So I'm going to pause it there. That's all the work we need to do on the server for now. Docker is running. We can get many, many packages down from the Docker hub, uh, the registry hub, but I'm going to show actually creating one and saving a custom image ourselves. Okay, so we're going to kick off again. Um, we need to create a brand new clean uh, CentOS machine. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to call it clean CentOS. Uh, it's going to be Linux. It's going to be other 64. If you've never created uh, virtual machines on uh, VBox before, then uh, it's probably worth checking it out. So this is uh, Oracle's uh, VirtualBox running on uh, my Mac. So it's just natively running. You can create all sorts of virtual machines. And in this instance, I'm just going to create a 4 gig memory uh, CentOS clean image. Uh, we're going to create the hard drive now. I'm going to go for a VMDK. Um, dynamically sized. <clears throat> that means it'll start off with a zero uh, byte size and it'll grow to whatever it needs. Um, clean CentOS. Oh, I should have typed that a little bit better. Um, I'm going to give it 20 gig. That'll be fine. It'll grow to a maximum of that size. Okay, so once you've done that, oh, the last thing I want to do as well before we actually do anything is go into the network and on adapter one, make it a bridged adapter. 
going to need that in a minute. So again, if you've never set this up before, I recommend, and maybe I'll do a video at some stage on what VirtualBox is all about, but the purpose of this video is to show you can create a Docker image within a CentOS virtual machine running on VirtualBox on a Mac and send it to software. So I won't go too deep on VirtualBox, just take it for red, you need to do these things and get that working, so that's fine. Uh, now I'm going to start it. It's asking me, let me put it back in our window, it's asking me for where the install file is. I grabbed one earlier in downloads. There it is. I'll just show you what the bottom of this is saying. That's fine. Open that. Start the machine and away we go. So this is going to boot, uh, install. This will take about two minutes and we will have a clean CentOS virtual machine. Um, skip that, we don't need to check the media, the media is good. And here we have the Anaconda install. Um, so I should have made my window a bit bigger. It's asking me to say next, choose a language. We'll choose English, next. Let's see if I can make this a bit smaller. Uh, US English will be fine. Next. Whoops. Yeah, next. Next. Uh, basic storage devices, that's fine as well. Next. Uh, yes, discard any data. We're going to call it Sassify uh, X. Uh, New York's fine, we don't care about the time. Give it a root password and this will install. Yeah, it's weak, use it anyway. That's fine as well. It's all the defaults, right changes to the disk. And that's it, now it's going to install everything. So that's just going to crack along for about, like I say, two maybe three minutes and then it's going to be ready so i'm going to stop it there and then we will pick up when the machine virtual machine is actually up and ready for us to log into